So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm filming this. And it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. A past clip of Jamie Foxx telling shocking details of what he experienced at Diddy's parties has been going round on social media. And now everyone wants to be invited to one. Bentley is the whole night he get out. I get out too with a camera. The big cannon, like, yo, Puff, I should document this shit, right? <laughs> yo, what's up, playboy? <laughs> What, what, what you talking about? I said, no, no, I should get this, man. You, Fonz, were the whole nine. He says, uh, yeah, let him through. Excuse me. Jamie was still a newbie in the entertainment scene, and so he decided to get into music by attending and hosting parties where he could connect with others. He said he arrived at Diddy's party in Beverly Hills as a cameraman and asked Diddy if he could document the party, and Diddy agreed. You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? I said, you come to my house, I'll throw you a party for $400 and it will rival this, not in scale. It was a million and a half dollar party filled with big name celebrities arriving in classy and fancy cars. Jamie followed Diddy into the pool party and while recording the first person he saw was Dr. Ruth, the famous Hollywood sex lady or sex therapist if you like, and Jamie asked her to talk to Diddy so that he could document it on camera. Dr. Ruth started dancing with Diddy by the pool and they were jamming to Beyonce's crazy in love with several people around them complimenting the song. Jamie Foxx said that Heavy D, God bless his soul, and Andrea Hero were also in attendance listening to the crazy in love demo that Dr. Ruth and Diddy were dancing to. You know, got together. So what happened was, I'm following Puff, following Puff, and his parties were like amazing. We were in Philly one day. I, I fly to Philly, town car, same business, go up. But Puff say, this party, Playboy, this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, nigga, what? What really surprised Jamie Foxx was that the extravagant party was hosted with about a million and a half dollars, which is quite understandable for someone of Diddy's financial capacity, and Jamie took to himself to educate Diddy on how to party on a budget. Jamie has been telling the story of teaching Diddy how to have an amazing party at a cheaper cost for years, and he even told the story on the late night show with Cobralt. He told the story on how he started his friendship with the rap mogul by posing as a videographer and how they started partying together more frequently, including parties Diddy himself would throw. He told Colbert that he started hanging out with Diddy when he pretended to be a videographer and that one time Diddy threw an extravagant party and said, Yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. I'm like, you are out of your mind, he said. I said, Puff, I will throw you a party for 400 bucks that will rival this party. Fox said Diddy was a bit offended at first but eventually went along with it the next time he was in Los Angeles. He called and said, Yo, Playboy, I'm in town. Make it happen. So I said, Cool, he said, adding that he went on to invite 200 of the coolest people before Diddy finally finally arrived. I said, Puff, look over there on the dinner table. I got Kentucky Fried Chicken. I put it on a nice plate. I got Kunka Kula. I put it in a pitcher. We are at $208 and we are killing it right now. Fox has claimed that he started gathering artists at his house because he was pursuing music and having new and old artists together listening to their music helped him and others start their career in the industry. His involvement with Diddy boosted up his attendance to places where he could freely connect with others in the industry. Besides Diddy, other guests at the party included Missy Elliott and apparently then unknown Jay-Z, Kanye West, and the Neptunes. Fox says he hosted plenty of his infamous house parties back in the day with a specific goal in mind. I was trying to get into music at that time, so I would throw parties for a reason, and because Diddy was so famous in music, I had a studio in my house, he explained. Of course, Fox found his way from acting to music and went on to win tons of awards, so it looks like the parties were all worth it. Diddy has been known to throw extravagant parties for years and he even said himself that his parties cost millions of dollars even though no one ever believed him. With all the rumors that have been going around about what happens in Diddy's parties, it should be quite obvious that the rap mogul never holds his money when it comes to partying. Diddy recently held a lavish birthday party for his twin daughter's 16th birthday and it was another talk of the town. The event happening in Beverly Hills Hotel was attended with the daughter's friends and family and it was made with a futuristic theme where he even gave them two cars as presents. Excited, the two girls captioned a series of photos on Instagram saying, We had so much fun last night. Thank you to everyone who came out. Thank you and Diddy for everything we had the best time ever. Love you. A fan on Twitter said, And I am Jamie Foxx's $400 party in love that he threw for Diddy sometime in 2000 seconds. Seems to be the PayPal of the music industry. Like the PayPal Mafia, JC, Kanye and Farrell attended the party and obviously went on to make some great music. Another said, P. Diddy used to blow $1M on exclusive parties and no one knows. Even when he, as financially matured, mentioned it, no one believed. Until Jamie Foxx talked about it some 15 years later. Anyways, let's not forget that this video is based on theories and my opinions and should not be considered facts. That's it for this video. Bye.